I hope you guys having a wonderful Thursday morning. Okay, hold on. Let me adjust my lighting here for a second. I hope you guys having a great morning. So uh, anyway, so this morning I'm just gonna make some morning espresso. And you know what? So it's been about five days. I've been using the Little Egg Bianca. I have to say, uh, I mean, if you guys are brand new to like dual boiler machine or like E61 group, just take your time, okay? Just take your time to learn how to use the machine first. Um, even though I've been using, you know, machine for a while, okay? I've been using a uh, quick mirror for last couple of months. Uh, last month or so, I've been using my Bravo Barista Express for years. But again, every time I'm, you know, every time I'm using a new machine, there is a learning curve, okay? Just make sure, don't rush it. Uh, take your time, figure it out, you know. What, what's the kind of like best method for you? So, and, I mean, everyone's are different. So, trying to, you know, learn the workflow. Again, have some fun, okay? Just have some fun. Uh, this morning, uh, let's see. I have the Costa Rica coffee beans. I uh, had it for about two weeks now. Okay, it's been two weeks. Now is a great time to drink, okay? So, uh, we dialed in about what? Beginning of the week. Quite tasty. So, this is the Costa Rica. Uh, tasting notes. Let's take a look at this one. Gingerbread, cinnamon, and cantaloupe. Okay, so very bright, sweet, and I'm gonna be using my niche grinder as well. So uh, it should be good. Should be good. So last, I think we uh, died in on Monday. Okay, hold on. So so every time I uh, uh, died in coffee, I make a little sticky note. So remind myself, you know, kind of like what was my grinder setting was. So last time I said at number 14. So I'm going to start with number 14. And then i uh, go from there. I'm just going to... Uh, so I'm going to be using 18 gram. So let's do 18 gram. And then since I have the flow control, let's play with the flow control too. So it should be fun. It should be fun. All right. I, mean, I have to say it smells, it smells pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm gonna flip the camera. All right. So let's measure out 18. Perfect, I got my 18 gram there. And I'm just gonna take my grinder. Again, so I'm at number 14, so I was, so that was pretty good last time. But since then, the grinder setting might change uh, due to like humidities and whatnot. Uh, I'm in Tucson. We are pretty dry here, so. Uh, I'm gonna shout out to Young for the super sti uh, super ch chat. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah. I do low on coffees. Okay. All right. So I'm going to heat up my portal filter. Okay. So let's get going. Now, it comes to workflow, it's pretty, I mean, pretty intuitive, okay? It's pretty intuitive as well. All right, so. I'm going to use my puck rake here. So this is the puck rake, okay? And uh, let me show you the different tools. So something like this is a WDT tool. So this is a nine pin setup. 
Okay, just declump everything. And I like to use my puck rake to look kind of like the rake the <laughs> coffee puck, like so. I know it could be, you know, too much sometimes, but it works for, you know, it works for me at that moment. I'm just going to distribute. Uh, I think I'm just going to use my force tamper this morning. Okay. Looks pretty good there. I'm just going to lock it in. All right, let's pull the shot. Okay. Hopefully I can give you guys, okay, so. So here's the, what I'm gonna do. Okay. I got 18 in, I'm just gonna do maybe like one to two ratio. I think I'm gonna start with like about like four o'clock range. Okay, I'm just gonna four o'clock full pressure. Oh, so, so this is a full pressure. One o'clock is a full pressure, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna go here and this uh, slowly ramp down to uh, close it up. Okay, and to stop the shot there. So, because I've been uh, playing with a different method, but Okay, let's start with that. Look at the pressure going up. I'm just gonna go down to, start with the nine bar first. And slowly go down, adjust it. Go down to six, five, and shut it down. Okay, having the flow control is, I have to say, it's a lot of fun to use. So this is more like one, uh, kind of one, uh, 2.5 ratio. Okay, so let's give it a shot. So I'm, I'm looking for a tasting note of, again, gingerbread, Cinnamon and cantaloupe. Okay, here we go. Uh, great thing about uh, this rotary pump machines. So quiet. I mean, as as you guys mentioned, and also with the flow control, it's hard to make a bad shots because whenever you think they're too fast, you can slow down the flow to get the you know, right, you know, right shot. Ah, kind of the right flow. But you know what? It's all about the taste, so cheers, everybody. Definitely I can taste cinnamon, cantaloupe. Definitely cantaloupe, okay. Uh, let's see, gingerbread. Not quite, not quite. I think my grinder setting, I think I might need to uh, change the grinder setting though. Uh, the texture is not as thick as one before. So definitely I need to, uh, I mean, extraction mode. So right now I'm at size number 14 and uh, not that size. The grinder size 14 right now. Maybe I should go down to maybe like 12 or so. Okay, go down to maybe 12 and I can get that more extraction. So but anyway, uh, so I mean, uh, coming Saturday, I'm going to uh, compare side by side uh, with a quick meal and uh, so we are going to pull the shots but I'm going to talk about the overall kind of like machine because there's great videos out there for the Lola Bianca they give you a detailed breakdown of this machine I'm not going to do that, I'm just kind of like give you guys an overview of the uh, quick meal and Lola and also you know, th uh, share with you my thoughts about uh, these two machines Okay, and. The fact is, there's no bad machine here. I mean, they're both great, great machine. Uh, by the way, uh, I saw Carla ask me 
the dimmer mod for Brista Express. Let's see here. Hold on. I think I'm, I'm looking at your question right now. Uh, by end of year, no, actually sooner than you think, Kala. Okay. Sooner than you think. So dimmer mod is, I'm not just saying that to you. I'm, I'm not just saying it. So it's sooner than you think. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is my dimmer mod project. I'm not going to do the live streaming on that one. I'm just going to make a step-by-step -step videos for you guys. So I mean, if you guys are thinking about upgrading, not, I don't want to say upgrading, but modify to dimmer mod. Um, so, you know, you have some, you know, kind of like guideline. You know, show, show you guys how to, you know, how I do it step-by-step. -step. So it should be fun. The, so it seems like dimmer mod should be good. I know a lot of people out there do the overpressure valve on your Bridgestone Express to, you know, reduce your pressure. I think a dimmer mod is the better option, I think, for sure. Because you can actually change the pump pressure. So it'd be interesting uh, to once I finish you with the dimmer mod and they pull those shots. Man, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know because I mean, I like to get the, you know, I, I think I'm, uh, I'm kind of like Ryan. I mean, I like to kind of make something, modify something, kind of like low end, uh, modify a little bit and bring up to the part. You know, I'm kind of bring up to, you know, the machine that kind of like equivalent to, you know, flow control machine. Okay. Okay. Uh, Carla asked me, is sooner than you think is before end of year? Yeah, m yes. Okay, definitely, definitely. So, so I, I have it in place right now. So, I mean, again, I mean, if you guys are interested, I mean, if you don't want to wait for my videos, there is a quite a few videos out there on YouTube. I mean, you can search for uh, uh, the Bravo Brista Express modification, the dimmer mod. They got quite a few videos. But I mean, if you're if you're gonna wait for it for my videos again, make sure to check out those videos as well. Uh, let's see what else. So by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. Okay, we go live, kind of like between like eight and eight thirty in the morning. Uh, we just make some coffee, have some fun. That's it. By the way, do not take this channel seriously. Okay, I don't take I don't take myself seriously either. So we just have some fun here and. Uh, if you guys are looking for expert opinions about something, you know, there's great channels out there. But, you know, again, I mean, we have a great group of communities uh, going on right now. So make sure to ask our live chat people. We have a, quite a few coffee experts. So uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, uh, Hip Hop Danny is uh, uh, he's the one of our friends from Phoenix. Okay. Uh, yeah, come by on Saturday. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be here on Saturday, so I don't know what time you're going to uh, swing by, but yeah, if you can, I'm going to be I'm gonna be here at work. Uh, let's see. I think we are, oh, make sure to follow me on Instagram too. Uh, we do a lot of fun stuff on Instagram. Uh, we do like uh, live interviews. We chit chat about coffee. But overall, okay, I've been using the Little Left for what, last five, six days now. You know, let, uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, because I know you guys watch me for a while. So, I mean, if you have a choice between Lillette versus the Quick Meal, uh, which one you guys take, okay? i uh, love to hear your thoughts as well, okay? Love to hear your thoughts. Because, uh, I mean, they're both great machines. Uh, both uh, Dura Boiler, PID, Rory Pump. Yeah, they're, they're both great. And uh, Ryan said, Bianca, and it's not even close. Interesting, Ryan. R Ryan thinks that, yeah, I think Ryan likes the Bianca. Okay, Linda say Bianca. Uh, Catherine asking, which one is my favorite? Uh, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to, we're going to talk about this on Saturday, okay? Yeah, I think, I know a lot of people likes Bianca. I got Cuckoo for Coffee likes Bianca. Hold on a second here. Marvin say Bianca, okay. So far, no quick meal. Goodness. Who else? Let's see here. I'm, I'm looking at your chat room right now. Oh, make sure to press like on the videos, okay? Uh, good for the analytics, uh, according to Google. But I mean, this. 
Okay, I mean, if you guys are into espresso, I mean, it comes to milk-based drink, it's not as much, but if you guys are into like espresso, having so far playing with the flow control is, is a lot of fun there. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I think uh, Linda, you know, again, I mean, they're both great machines. Uh, comes to price wise, it's about the same price. Okay, so by the way, big shout out to Joe, Joe at Espresso Outlet. Uh, if you guys are looking for new coffee machines, so make sure to check out Joe's website. I'm going to put uh, his link down below. Okay, Joe is selling both machines, so I can be totally unbiased with you guys on this Saturday. Uh, he's selling all kinds of coffee machines, and he happened to send this machine to me. Uh, to kind of like check it out. So this is a loaner. Okay, so this is a loaner machine. I don't get to keep this, but uh, I'm planning on buying one of these. Okay, uh, let's see here. Oh, hold on. So this one is $2,900, $2,950 on his website. And then Quick Meal, he's selling for around $2,750, I think. Uh, $2,700 there. $2,750, hold on. I can get you exact uh, figures. I'm looking at his website. Right now, here we go. Okay, here we go. Hold on a second. Let me flip the camera around for you guys. So this is not it, okay? So this is something else. This is his lever machine. Okay, 2700 bucks is on sale right now. Rocket is on sale for 27 for from Joe's website. Okay, here you go. So this one, $27.95 for quick meal, okay? $27.95. Okay, and then let's see. ECM, he sells for $2,800. Bianca twenty nine seventy nine is about three grand, okay, three grand there. For Bianca for three thousand. But uh, with a quick meal, uh, I think I believe it's about two hundred twenty five dollars for the flow control add on, okay. So pretty much bring bring that machine up to about three grand. So it comes to price wise, very similar. A similar price. I mean, if you want the uh, the Bianca or Quick Mirror with the flow control, you can always add it on. So yeah, uh, goodness. Hold on a second. Here we have some more questions there. But I mean, out of the box experience, uh, obviously Bianca has Bianca gives you everything. Okay, and then but the would like Quick Mirror. I wish Quick, quick Meal, they did the, because there's place for the pressure gauge and the flow control, okay? It'd be nice to just give in one package and sell it, you know, just like that. But, uh, the, but anyway, so about the same price, about the same price. Uh, Fortnite asks, I have a breathe, uh, breathe, uh, Brewster Pro, it's not heating up the tube. What do you mean by tube? Uh, Fortnite Pro, okay. Let me know what that. What do you mean by tube? Okay, so you mean I don't know. Is that what Steam One are you talking about, or I'm not quite sure about the tube means. So, uh, Brewster Pro uses a thermal jet. So, I mean, you're not gonna heat up the port, uh, group head. Okay, you're not gonna heat up the group head. Top. Not tube, uh, let's see here, tub. Heat up the tub, uh, I don't know what tub is. You mean, yeah, I'm not sure, okay? Let me know what that is so uh, we can help you. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, pretty much it for now, okay? I think it was a short session today. Uh, anyway, so next few days we are going to play with Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so I'm in the top of where laying down the coffee cups. Yes, uh, you mean the warming tray, okay? Warming tray. Uh, no, you're not going to. It never gets hot, okay? Again, 
uh, you are using the thermal uh, thermal jet. So where the variable breeze type express using the thermal block. So the warming tray gets nice and hot. I don't want to say nice and hot, but it's a lot warmer than pro. So right now, this one here, I mean, I can touch it. I mean, it's pretty warm, okay? Obviously, a quick mirror does a better job. Comes to uh, warming after warming tray there, but yes, uh, you're not going to, okay? So that's fine. Uh, yeah, you, you're not going to get hot there. Actually, it's never going to get hot because, again, you're using the thermal jet, not the thermal block. Uh, that's why whenever you're using the thermal uh, Bravo Brewster Pro, make sure to do the couple dummy shots before uh, pulling your coffee, okay? So you're going to have a nice and, you know, hot coffee coming, you know. Yeah, let's see what else there. Uh, is the Han say, who should you create on pool on YouTube? Let let Bianca or... Okay, quick meal. Uh, you know, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. But you know what? I bet you guys are going to pick the Lila Bianca anyway. Okay? Because I think, I, I, I mean, everybody likes Bianca for some reason. Okay? But you know what? Uh, I'm going to decide. Yeah, again. Uh, now I'm going to say Bianca. Yeah, Bia yeah, obviously Bianca is going to win as, yeah. But again, uh, I think, uh, by the way, so Carlos keep asking him about the, yeah, yep, the Dimmer project is coming. Okay, definitely way before the year is over. Because I know you've been, uh, I know some of you are very patient with me about the, uh, the Dimmer project. I, I'm, I am actually quite excited about that project as well, myself. So, can you imagine? If I can pull the great shot from Express with the Dimmer mod, you know, if you don't care about the look of it, man, it could be a game changer. Could be a game changer there. So, uh, the young mod asked, what is the dimmer mod? Uh, dimmer mod is the, you know, the dimmer switch at your house. You can actually add on to your Brista Express to control the pump pressure, okay? So, because uh, as you guys know, Bri uh, Bravo Brista Express, it's about 14 bar pressure there. That's why you guys, you guys are going to see a lot of channeling, okay? But uh, with the dimmer mod, you can start with the 14 bar pressure slowly, you know, go down to like six or seven or, you know, I mean, definitely, okay? Okay, uh, let's see here. Melvin asked, install your SSP bar. You know what, I, I, I wish I could, okay? Because I think uh, Brista Express, the bar set is about what, 48 millimeter, I think? Is that 48? I wonder. I wonder about that because if that's possible, I can swap up with like bird set like, I don't know, like Commandante type of bird set there. Man, it could be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. Let's see here. I think we are... Okay, so uh, let's jump into Instagram right now, okay? Uh, make sure uh, join the chat, okay? Just make sure join us, uh, join the chat. Show us your coffee bar setup, and then uh, we can, you know, we can continue to talk about coffee a little longer there. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. You say, "Hun, did you see the new Serbia Pro X?" What? We got Serbia Pro X, okay? We have a. Uh, I cannot pronounce your name though. Okay, hold on. So let me look it up here, okay? Sylvia Pro X. Okay, so I'm Rancheria Sylvia Pro X because I used to have a Rancheria Sylvia. Wow, it just came out three days ago. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me flip the camera around here. Is out our old Sylvia Pro models. So what's new about the Sylvia Pro X? And why did we choose to change it? Great question. But we wanted 
to put more control and features in the hands of home baristas. So we took the time, we listened to feedback from the community and requests on certain features to add to our machine. And so here we have a matte black, a matte white, and a matte pink as well. As matte the pink, goodness. Stainless steel Sylvia Pro X. Wow, These okay. Are commercial grade mentioned to detail the same amount of dirt. So let's dig into some of the tech features that we've added. You may have noticed that we have a pressure gauge is going to measure the pressure. Okay, the pressure gauge. Rather than at the pump, it's going to give a more accurate indication of what your actual. The handle is this, which is one of our nice ergonomic designs. We kept all of the Sylvia Pro X still features. Okay, dual boiler with the PID. And that dual boiler is going to allow ID is very fit in thermal stability for both, which is the variable. And the group head is actually just going to all of the grounds in this basket, right? So it's going to be fun to play. Essentially, what it's doing is it's if you have. Okay. So pretty much they add a pre infusion feature. And then what else? Pretty much it. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I'm not, uh, obviously dual boiler as well. Okay, so they give you a pressure gauge. That's great. And then pre-infusion. Okay, so by the way, uh, you could get that from uh, the Arbor PID. Okay, so Arbor PID does a very similar. So they uh, integrate with those feature. So because uh, I used to have a uh, Servia. And then I did the I add the PID and pre infusion mod or mod setup there. So, man, I, how much is that? Eight, two thousand dollars. Boy, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of eventually your Sylvia, but not for that price. Uh, let me know in the comment section as well. What do you guys think about that? Because you are looking at, if you're gonna spend two grand, uh, there come uh, comes with a vibrator pump as well, not the Rory pump. Okay, vibrator pump. So. 1870 man it is a pricey because you can get the half the price with a uh, regular yeah i don't know yeah uh, let me know about the uh, let me know in your comment section as well uh, what do you guys think about the new rancheria Serbia pro x i mean i wish they come up with a rory pump you know it'd be it'd be great but yeah hold, hold on uh, I see Wolf, uh, he likes the uh, Bianca is an upgrade from B Brista Express. Okay, so B Okay, I know if you guys are watching my channel, which means most likely you guys are on Bravo Brista Express or Pro, okay? Some kind of entry level machine. And if you're planning on upgrading to now upgrade your machine, I highly recommend save the money and get the machine you guys want okay the machine you guys truly want and they don't go like between okay do not go like between you know i'm gonna buy uh maybe like rocket apartment for a couple years and uh, maybe upgrade to something better down the road if i were you uh save the money get the machine you want and then you know you're gonna enjoy that for you know pretty much rest of your life pretty much so yeah i highly recommend it because I, because you have a lot more control Okay. You're going to have a dual boiler with a PID, especially Rory pump is really quiet as well. It's a better fit. But because a uh, heat exchange machine, eventually you want something better. I mean, you know, you never know, okay? I know some of you, you know, have, you know, rocket apartment or some kind of heat exchange machine. They are wonderful, okay? They are fantastic. But if a coffee is your hobby, okay, if you like to pull the shot, with the different flows, yeah, I uh, think they are somewhat limited, so yeah. Okay, hold on a second, they take out the Pro only. Oh, interesting, uh, so, so Rancheria Serbia is, they are going to uh, discontinue the Pro, and then Pro X for now, oh, that's interesting, okay. All right, I think, I think we are pretty good for now, this morning, excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into Instagram, uh, make sure you join the chat 
And uh, if not, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.